All right, I've got a brand new fragrance house for you guys to discover today called Lumari. I've got five fragrances from this house to discuss today. They just launched. They're selling at Javoy in Paris and off of the Lumari website. I have links in the info box. But as I said, I have five of them for you to discover today. And they've taken the Middle East and uh, French uh, perfumery and married it together. And uh, they've created five very, very intense fragrances. And I'm going to tell you about all five of them. And I'm going to discuss them in my order of preference of which one I prefer the most to which is my least favorite sort of thing. Plus, Lumari is doing a uh, giveaway, three giveaways of subscribers of this channel of discovery sets of the five different fragrances. So this is a great way for you to discover a brand new house. They're not selling anywhere except for Javoy in Paris, as I said, and on the Lumari website. That's the latest news I have of the brand. Things can change uh, quickly, but if you want to find out about this house, Lumari, and have a chance at winning a discovery set or sample set, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, today I'm talking about a house called Lumari. They have five fragrances, Almeria, Saja, Nuage Noir, Nice Sabour, Noble Caval. So five fragrances, in extrait de parfum concentration, intense uh, fragrances, but very, very refined. And I can see the marriage of the Middle East uh, world uh, with the, the French perfumery. I, they've done a, a great job of capturing uh, those together. And the fragrances are in different styles. Some do remind me of Middle Eastern style fragrances. Some remind me of French perfumery. Uh, but very, very modern, uh, you know, fragrances and creations. And a couple of them I really do enjoy uh, as uh, great fragrances. So I'll let you know all about these five fragrances and give you a chance to participate in a giveaway to win a discovery set of uh, all five fragrances. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you know this house already? Have you discovered them yet? Uh, I don't even see any info up uh, in any of the databases for these fragrances yet. So um, they had reached out to me and they said, uh, we'd like for you to review the fragrances. And uh, I immediately was struck at the bottles and how beautiful they are, as you can see. Uh, they're a beautiful white bottle here, and this is a beautiful, you know, baby blue bottle. And then uh, the other one's darker shades of uh, bottles. This one's definitely dark red. This is a kind of blackish, lightly blue. And then the last bottle I'm going to discuss with you is kind of like a navy blue right there. So there are five different fragrances in different styles. And uh, they're extrait de parfum. They're selling at Jevoy for 260 euro, and also on the Lumari website. Same price, and those prices do, uh, you know, include the tax. So they are extrait de parfum concentration. So they're very, very long lasting, and all the fragrances are seeming very polished as well. Very, very clean, uh, not rough around the edges. Um, I do have to say the fragrances are not necessarily ultra you know, new for me. They're also not experimental. They're definitely wearable. They're not challenging fragrances. So um, those are some things I wanted to tell you up front because uh, that's what I'm uh, experiencing with the fragrances. But my favorite of the, the five is Almeria. This one right here in the white bottle. Really an absolute delicious fragrance to wear. This one is a gourmand. It's uh, also featuring tobacco. So, you know, tobacco gourmand things. I really enjoy those kind of fragrances. But uh, again, it's very, very polished experience and also extrait de parfum. So it's intense experience. It's a little too intense uh, because sometimes they're so intense that you become a little anosmic to them, meaning that they kind of like uh, are so intense that like your smelling senses kind of go away. So that's the only issue I had with them. But a really, really delicious fragrance, Almeria. Uh, the fragrance is uh, considered an amber style for this one, uh, obviously with the notes that there are in here. But for notes, we have uh, almonds, elemi, bitter orange, for top notes, heart notes, cinnamon, black pepper, rose, base notes, caramel, cedarwood, musk, tobacco, 
vanilla. So it's an absolute delight to wear this one. When I first received all these fragrances, this is the one I gravitated towards because you know I smelled all of them and this one just totally stood out. Is it because it's a white bottle? No. Uh, it stands out against all the other bottles for sure because of the white color, but as a smell I felt like it was the most unique. I do enjoy tobacco and fragrances and I do enjoy vanilla and fragrances and this one has those, but it also has the almonds note and cinnamon and caramel together. So all of these together is kind of like a tobacco gourmand working beautifully together. So this is definitely my favorite of the bunch and I really really enjoy wearing it. And here's the kicker, I was doing some um, you know, visits to some friends now that things are kind of slowly getting back to normal and I was wearing this fragrance and, and I actually took the bottle with me in a backpack and people were actually asking me what I was wearing and I, I showed them and uh, the reactions to this particular fragrance were very very positive. So this is Lumari Almeria, my favorite of the, the five fragrances from this house and uh, I do enjoy wearing it. I do also want to mention uh, five fragrances, four of them are created by Amélie Bourgeois, who I've spoken about quite a bit on different uh, 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 fragrance reviews or videos. And then one of them is created by Anne-Sophie Behagels. So my second favorite fragrance is Saja or Saya, whichever way it's supposed to be pronounced. But you know what, it's so close to Nuage Noir, it's kind of a tie because I enjoyed both of these equally. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about Saya or Saja first. Uh, this one's in the dark red bottle. I don't know if you can see the, the redness, but it's, it's a gorgeous looking bottle. And the design work on it is really also beautiful. Uh, I didn't show you the design work on here because there's not much of a design work that's very visible. It's there, it's detailing mostly. But um, that's uh, Almeria. Uh, but uh, this uh, Saja or Saya has beautiful, um, you know, artwork on it, uh, really like very Middle Eastern. And this is definitely on the Middle Eastern style. For me, this is considered a woody amber fragrance and uh, definitely acts that way. And it also has a prominent rose and obviously it's a red bottle. So it's kind of a given that they're gonna put some rose in here. Although there was rose in Almeria, I didn't get much rose from that fragrance. So it was uh, not a very uh, prominent note. So for notes here in Saja, we have at the top pink pepper, incense, peach, heart features, raspberry, rose, violet, base notes, amber, woods, patchouli, saffron, and oud. For me, this particular fragrance has loads of rose. It's a rose bomb, but it's also spicy. It has lots of spices that I'm not uh, seeing mentioned in the notes. Like one of the notes that I'm getting here is like a light cumin or caraway experience. So I don't see that listed but I'm definitely experiencing it as I'm wearing it and I like this note. Uh, and this is kind of uh, reminding me a little bit of Bas Mysteria from Guerlain, but with the addition of uh, the rose and oud, because this one definitely has oud and definitely has lots of saffron. And for me, I feel like saffron, oud and rose are really beautifully working together. There might be some light, light fruity touches in there, like the raspberry and the peach ha appear, but very, very lightly, kind of like to sweeten up things and make them a little fruity. But uh, where's the cumin, cumin note coming from or caraway? Uh, wherever it's coming from, I don't really care because it really is beautiful the way it wears on me. And it does remind me a little bit of a, you know, like a Guerlain Bois Mysterio type a fragrance with the addition of rose and I really do love that fragrance so it's a given that I would like this one. Again we're not really break breaking any new ground but I think they've done a great job with this because when I take Bois Mysterio I actually layer it with a rose fragrance so this is kind of like done for me together you know kind of a thing so it's beautiful it's very very middle eastern style uh, but the craftsmanship is great it's very very refined it's clean but very very intense once again extrait de parfum concentration so very very long lasting uh, fragrance experience so that one is saja or saya from lumari that's my second favorite but definitely it's tied with nuage noir i couldn't decide which one to put here I went with Saja, Saya, I like, I like both of them because this one once again goes into a gourmand direction, but it's a leather gourmand, which kind of is unique, you know? I like that about it. So I would call this a leather. Uh, it's a buttery, rich, kind of soft leather. And once again, it's very, very refined. These fragrances are 
over the top refined. Sometimes when you smell fragrances, there's a like rough around the edges. You know, they're not polished. These all are polished and clean. Uh, they've removed all the, the, the unwanted stuff in um, fragrances when you call them rough around the edges because these are definitely not like that. They're just perfectly made. Uh, but very, very luxury uh, stylings. And this particular bottle is also beautiful. I like the work. I actually went to their website and looked around their website and that's how, dis how I discovered the names of the perfumers. And they do have a pretty uh, amazing looking website as well. So if you guys wanted to go check it out, you can see some of the artwork. Definitely worth going and checking out. So as I said, this is a leather. And for notes, we have bergamot for top notes. Heart notes features cocoa, cinnamon, tonka beans. Base notes, cedarwood, papyrus, leather, and suede. So leather and suede appears. And you know, this one's definitely not necessarily an animalic leather. As I said, it's a gourmand leather, and I like this marriage of gourmand notes with leather because it's rarely done. I don't experience it much, and I, I, I kind of like the combination. Uh, it's a smooth leather. It's very, very refined leather, and I do get the buttery uh, touches of the suede leather in here as well. So uh, the smoothness and the butteriness I all kind of go hand in hand. So I really do like this one. For me, the standout, standout notes for this one are definitely the leather leather with the, the cacao or cocoa. Uh, definitely it's chocolatey, uh, but it's more cocoa rather than chocolate. Uh, the dustings of co cocoa kind of a thing, not like a smooth uh, chocolate milk or, you know, dark chocolate kind of a thing. More a cocoa experience uh, for sure. But you also pick up uh, the cinnamon and the tonka here as well, along with the bergamot. So those are really what's standing out for me. If you like the idea of leather, or suede leather with, you know, gourmandish type notes, spices and things like that. I think this one's definitely uh, one for you to check out. And again, as I said, these are kind of tied. For me, I really do enjoy both of them kind of equally. So I would rank them together equal with uh, Al Maria winning as my favorite of the bunch. Uh, and uh, those two are at number two. But, you know, the, the rest of the collection, uh, I felt like number four been there done that I've smelled many fragrances like that so even though it was not a bad fragrance I ranked it at four because it's just something that I've smelled quite a bit of and then number five sadly was not a, a fragrance that I was like oh my god this is amazing I'll, I I want to keep wearing it you know so which one of these is sounding great to you so far so we've spoken about Almeria my number one favorite we've also spoken about Saya Saja and then also Nuage Noir. These two are tied. I really like them equally. Uh, but my number four, and again, it's not a bad release. It's not a bad fragrance. I've smelled so much fragrances like this that I had to rank it low because, you know, it didn't seem like anything original. But I think it's a great quality made fragrance and it is nice somewhere in the blue bottle here. I really love the, the very, very vivid color of this bottle. It stands out against all of them. It just pops when you put them, uh, you know, stand them up next to each other. So I, I give them credit for that. And for me, this one is considered a woody fragrance, but it's also very, very spicy. There's a very, very prominent... Um, uh, note of uh, saffron in here. Saffron really, really stands out. And I also get lots of rose with this one. So this one, again, once again, it's kind of like on that Middle Eastern side of uh, fragrances. But again, it's very, very refined. It's definitely quality. I think it's a quality release. I've just ranked it low because I've smelled this particular kind of a release uh, over and over again. But maybe you haven't, so I think it's definitely worth checking out. So nice sambour or nice sabour, I think is how you say it. So this is a woody, notes include amber, oud for top notes, heart notes, cloves, raspberry, rose, base notes, patchouli, saffron, sandalwood, vanilla, and benzoin. So in the end, for me, oud stands out, raspberry stands out, vanilla stands out, saffron stands out, and rose stands out. So for me, it's very, very spicy and aromatic, lightly leathery because the saffron is so, so prominent. You do get the oody touches and some light fruitiness from the raspberry. It's sweetened up with the vanilla. But I experienced that kind of fusion of rose and saffron, uh, which takes me to a Middle Eastern kind of a direction because I like that combination of smells, you know, rose and saffron. It's, it's used in desserts and things like that. So you do experience things like that here. But again, uh, 
definitely quality made. Uh, I've just ranked it at number four because I've smelled things like this over and over again. So I do recommend you try it if you like the idea of it. But either way, Nice Sabor is at number four from the house of uh, Lumari. And finally, Noble Caval is my number five fragrance here. It's not that it's a bad fragrance. I just felt like this one was just kind of boring for me. I didn't really enjoy this particular fragrance. I guess the reason is I do enjoy woody fragrances. This is a woody fragrance, but it didn't do a lot for me. Uh, it felt a little one-dimensional for a fragrance. So I wanted a little more excitement, nothing gourmand added or anything like that. It just was, be, you know, just a woody experience. But for notes here, uh, I do have to say the bottle is gorgeous. As you can see, the, the artwork on here. And I didn't really show you the artwork on the, the blue bottle. You can you totally see the prominence of it. It. But either way, this one features notes of basil, bergamot, lemon, grapefruit for top notes, heart notes, cardamom, cypress, lavender, apple, base notes, woods, sandalwood, vetiver, and balm. I guess for me, this is the safest fragrance out of all, and I think it's a given that brands will do that because they don't want to make their fragrances, I, I wouldn't call these experimental, but they have a distinct flavor to them and they will appeal to a certain type of person that likes a certain type of fragrance. This might appeal to a lot more people. Uh, that's why for me it's uh, my least favorite of the bunch because it seems like it's safe, you know? It's all woods and citruses with light spices and fruity touches. So, do, do I want safe fragrances? Uh, I guess if I wanted safe fragrances, I would go for something like this, but I definitely prefer Almeria over all of these because I felt like it was the most amazing to wear and to enjoy, and especially since, you know, uh, several people, uh, Three people reacted very, very positively uh, with that fragrance on a day out, uh, meeting up with some friends. But this one, on the other hand, it's just kind of a boring scent for me, but you might dig it. That's uh, Noble Caval right here. And again, the bottle is just gorgeous. I really love the bottle. And when you look at this bottle in light, you can totally see the blueness. But when you're looking at it in your hand, it's all very, very black, blue, navy colored. But this one, I think, uh, definitely has one of my favorite designs on it. I, I really do appreciate that one, along with uh, the Nuage Noir as well. Uh, that one's definitely beautiful. And of course, the Saya or Saja is also definitely great. And uh, I'm going to show you the blue one and the white one once again. The white one's the least interesting as a bottle, and the blue one obviously has the detailing. So those are my thoughts on these five fragrances from Lumari. I'll have a link to Lumari's website in the info box. Also, I'll link to uh, Javoy to their page there. Uh, I pretty much got the info for these fragrances from Lumari's website and Javoy's website because none of the databases had any information for these fragrances. So um, this is uh, all definitely legitimate information because they are from um, the website of the brand. So and now uh, for the giveaway, let me find out from you guys which fragrance sounds the best to you out of all of them. Again, I have a certain taste. I prefer uh, and enjoy uh, gourmand fragrances and of course I love tobacco and fragrances as well. So that's why Almeria is my favorite. And I think the name Almeria and the fact that there's almonds in it kind of uh, uh, is a clue sort of a thing that you're gonna have almonds in this fragrance. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but definitely this does have an almondy touch. And the fact that when you dig into an almond, it's white, it definitely matches the bottle color. So that one definitely is my favorite, but let me know which one of these is your favorite and let me know why you'd like to win the discovery set. And uh, please put down your country. This is a worldwide giveaway. Uh, put down your country and if it's a USA uh, uh, participant, please put down USA and your state as well. Um, I think that's it. Uh, this is uh, all my info for you for Lumari fragrances. Let me know what your thoughts are if you've sampled them. Uh, I'd like to find out if you've seen them. And now that you've seen them on this channel, what do you think about these fragrances? Put a comment down so I can find out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today to discover Lumari fragrances. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.